accustomed as I may be to public speaking. She taught me. I'm not responsible for him. Um, one of the great dramas that inspires me in the SCA contains a song that I thought most fitting for this auspicious occasion. When I was a lad, I was gloomy and sad, and I was from the day I was born. When other lads giggled and wiggled and jiggled, I proudly was loudly forlorn. My friends and my family looked at me clamily, thought there was something amiss. When other kids giggled and wiggled and jiggled, all I could manage was this, or this. <laughs> my father, he shouted, he needs to be clouded. His teeth on a reef, I will hand him. My, bro my mother, she cried as she rushed my side. You're a brute and you don't understand him. <laughs> so they hired a witch with a terrible twitch to see how my future impressed her. She took one look at me and said, <laughs> What else could he be but a jester? A jester. A jester. A funny idea, Chester. No butcher, no baker, no candlestick baker, and me with the look of a fine undertaker impressed her as a jester. I'm going to pause here a minute. If you know the words, go ahead and feel free to sing along. <laughs> now where could I turn? Oh, now where could I learn any comical turn that was not in a book on the shelf? No teacher to take me and mold me and make me a merriment fool or an elf. But I'm proud to recall that in no time at all, with no other recourses but my own resources, with firm application and determination, I made a fool of myself. <laughs> I started to travel to try to unravel my mind and to find a new chance. When I got to Spain, it was suddenly plain that the field that appealed was the dance. The Spanish were clannish, but I wouldn't vanish. I learned every step they had planned. The first step of all wasn't hard to recall, because the first step of all was to stand, and stand, and stand. <laughs> Musica, por favor, someone. They like to stomp their feet a lot. <laughs> After all of my practice, the terrible fact is, I made a fool of myself. I sadly decided that dancing as I did, to sing was a thing that was sure. I found me a teacher, a crafty creature, who used to sing coloratural. She twisted my chin, pushed my diaphragm in. With a poker, she vocalized me. I'm not sure what that one's supposed to be. <laughs> when she said it was best that I throw out my chest, you can imagine that surprised me. <laughs> I was on solid ground till suddenly I found that in Venice I was to appear. The gala locale was a choppy canal, and to me, a high sea gondolier. I nervously perched as the gondola lurched before the king's palazzo. As I started my song, my voice was strong, but my stomach, I fear, was not so. Oh, so full, oh, me, oh, so. When I fell overboard, he roared, and before his siesta he made me his jester, and I found out quite soon that to be a buffoon was a serious thing as a rule, for a jester's main employment is to kill himself for your enjoyment, and a jester unemployed is nobody's fool.